Okay, lesson three this week. We're going to be adding three one-digit numbers again today. So you had some practice at this yesterday, and we're going to be expanding on that a little bit today. Okay, bit of a recap. Pause this screen and then see if you can have a go at these questions and then come back and check your answers. Okay, time to check. 18, 16 and 12. Did you get those ones right? I hope you did. Okay, pause again, see if you can have a go at these questions and then come back to check your answers. Okay, let's see how you did. 14, 19 and 16. Okay, let's see if you can use less than, greater than or the equal sign to complete these number sentences. Nine, add two, add seven. Eight, add five, add four. You can pause it if you need to. Which symbol do you think it's going to be? Greater than. Nine, add two, add seven is greater than eight, add five, add four. Okay, pause and have a check of this one. Okay, let's check. Four, add seven, add three is less than six, add five, add four. And five, add three, add four. Pause it, check and see which symbol you need for six, add four, add two. Okay, time to check. It's equals, they are the same. Okay, what you're going to be doing today is you're going to be using this worksheet. You can download it. You can use it on an iPad screen or you can draw your own on a piece of paper or on a whiteboard. I want you to select a, cal a calculation card and then represent it in lots of different ways in this sheet. Okay, so you've got the tens frames, which is what we looked at yesterday. So you could use counters or you can use felt tip pens or a pencil and you can colour the different numbers. Okay, it's really helpful if you use the colour coding so it really is clear in your mind which part is which. Describe it, so tell me the three different parts of the number and then what it's like as a whole. And then you can show that in the part whole model at the bottom. That's the one with the circle at the top and then the three circles coming off of it. Those show the three parts that when you put them together make that top total number. You can write it as different number sentences and then you can draw it as well. And you can see the different counters or dots there as well. Now, if you can have a go at this, can you compare two of the different cards using those greater than, less than, or equal signs? That is a really, really tricky thing to do, but see if you can have a go at it. We're going to have a look at how to add three digit numbers. Now, first of all, what we need is a number sentence. I have cut mine out of this sheet here. You don't have to print it out and cut it though. You can just have a look on the screen and choose a number sentence or you can make up your own. My number sentence here is five, add four, add seven. And what we're going to have a look at first are the tens frames here. Okay, remember we have got 10 squares in this frame and we've got two tens frames there to have a look at. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to do five. I'm going to use the pink for this one. And I'm going to colour in five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now blue, I'm going to do the four. One, two, three, four. Okay, I've done my five and I've done my four. Now I'm going to do my seven. I'm going to use the yellow for that. Now I've only got one more space here, so I'm going to use that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that is five, add four, add seven, represented in a tens frame. You can see I've used a different colour for each number to make it really, really clear. So we know instantly, don't we, that we have got ten here. We know a line across the top is five and one more. So 10, 5, 1, we've got 16. Let's have a look now at the other parts of this sheet. We know that this number 5 is a part, 4 is a part, and 7 is a part. That bit is really easy. 
that's on here for us. Now the whole is, that's the whole number, that's the answer. Now, do you remember we looked here, we've got 10. We know that this is five and one more. So we know it's going to be 16. Okay. We can show that in a different way here in the part whole model. Okay. We know, don't we, that our total is 16. We're going to put that in the middle here. And we know that five add four add seven. When we put those numbers all together, they go together to make 16. Now we can do different number sentences here. We can do it the same order or we can change it around just for fun. Four, add seven, add five, always going to be 16. Okay, 16 equals, let's do it another different way now. Seven, add four, add five. Okay, now we can draw it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, add four. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to do my seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that equals 16 altogether. Okay, so it's very simple. It's quite good fun. See how you get on with that one. Okay, four add something, add five, is less than six add three, add five. Now, this says the missing number must be less than five. Do you think that's true or false? Explain your answer. Now, now is the time to pause this and you can discuss it with somebody else. You can try it out on a whiteboard. See if you can put a number in there and see if it makes sense or not. Pause it now and then come back and check your answer. Okay, it is true. Four add something add five is less than 14, means the number must be less than five, otherwise the symbol doesn't make sense. Okay, another one of these grids. We looked at one of these yesterday. See if you can put those missing numbers in. It's just like that number sentence from before with a missing number. The empty spaces on the grid just represent that missing number. Four, three and one. And now have a look at this one. Pause it and then see if you can check your answers afterwards. Okay, time to check. One, five, and four. Well done if you got those ones right. Now, can you create your own addition grids for someone else to solve? You could maybe have a go at that with some brothers or sisters or with mum and dad at home. You can do that on a whiteboard if you want to.